So today I'm going to be sharing with you some step-by-step -step tutorials and tips and tricks on how to make a vinyl decal with just regular uh, permanent vinyl and how to make one using printable vinyl and how to seal it and place it on your car and all that good stuff. So if you're ready, let's jump into it. So to start off, I'm going to show you guys the files that we'll be working with today. We're working with two files from Maker's Gonna Learn, two of almost a thousand, I think it's over a thousand at this point, awesome cut files. More are added every single month. If you want to know more about this awesome die cutting community, click the very first link down below. You get, like I said, over a thousand digital cut files, two, almost 200 fonts if you're a yearly member. You get uh, free printable guides, much like this one, and more are added all of the time. Uh, exclusive die cutting uh, Facebook membership groups you do get a part of and every single tier gets access to those awesome cut files. Our yearly members get the best bang for their buck getting those fonts, a free commercial license, and three free e-courses. If you want to learn more, click that link down below, but you guys will absolutely adore the membership. So, let's go over a couple of supplies we'll need before we do jump into design space, but uh, for the printable vinyl one, you're going to need a printer, and we're using our Canon TS8120. Uh, the little numbers are right here next to your printer if you ever wonder which kind you have. We absolutely love our Canon, and you're also going to need, of course, printable vinyl. Not a special kind, not any uh, crazy kind, just normal uh, Cricut printable vinyl. You're going to need some sort of spray sealer. I would recommend the Minwax fast drying kind, or whether it's satin or clear gloss or whatever you want to do, you can go ahead and get that, pick that up at Walmart at the store. You're going to need some transfer tape some permanent vinyl. I do like um, this white permanent vinyl, especially for cars. I just think white really bounces off cars well. And for this one, you actually don't have to have transfer tape, but I would recommend it for the cars just in case that anything goes wrong. You're going to need your scraper tool, of course, and then you're going to need some alcohol and wipes, and this is to clean your car. You will not even know the difference that it will make if you clean your car with alcohol rather than just wiping the dust off, how well these will stick. So without further ado, let's jump into Design Space and show you all what we've got going on. So here we are in Design Space and we're going to be using Mama Bear and Get Off My Tail. So once you insert these uh, into your canvas here, you can get them however you want them. And now guys, what you need to do is get your measuring tape, get some kind of ruler, and go outside and measure your car, whether you want this on the uh, rear view mirror, on the bumper, on you know the back windshield, on the back of your car. Wherever you want this, go ahead and take it out there and measure and see how big you would like them. Uh, car decals are relatively a tad bigger. I would say like five to six inches would be really good for this mama bear just to make sure everyone can see it well. The get off my tail needs to be pretty wide and long as well, so just make sure that you do this uh, depending on what size you would like it. So the get off my tail right now is a width of 7.4 and a height of 8.6. Now that's really, really large. So we're just going to go in here with our width. And I think I want the width to be 4 inches. So let's see what that makes the height. So that makes the width of 4 inches and a height of 4.7. So that looks like a really good little decal to me. So the width of this guy is 7, which is quite big. So we're going to take the width down and top in 6. So we have a width of 6 and a height of 3.7. And again, I think that that looks really, really good. And once you have sized these exactly how you want them, we're going to do a little trick here to this get off my tail. Because let me show you what would happen if we went ahead and just click make it. Okay, so we're going to click make it and oh no. It has put all of these on different mats, our tail and our little uh, waves and the actual text and then our scales. Let's put them all on different ones. And we wanted this to be a print and cut to use with printable vinyl. So what we're going to do before we click make it is we're going to select all of this, go over to edit, and uh, we are going to go, excuse me, to actions, and we're going to flatten this guy. So now when you flatten it, you can click the layers panel. It's all one, and you see that little print icon there that makes you know that that is going to be a print and cut image, which is really, really cool. So now once you have that done and sized and exactly how you like it, go ahead and take those over. And this is going to tell you to print this out. So all you're going to do is hit print. And you're going to select your printer here. It's going to look for the printer here. And now our printer is just printing this out for us. 
This Canon printer prints so quickly, it's already done, if you can believe it. And here it is, all printed off. It's beautiful. So we're going to slide our um, iPad out of the way. And all we're going to do is place this on the upper left-hand corner of our mat here. And it all dries super quick, so it's all completely dry already. So now once we do this, we are going to put it into our machine and let it cut. Make sure, though, before you do that, you also go over here to continue and make sure that you select your maker first and foremost and make sure you select the printable vinyl setting. Now, unless your blade is very, very old, you will not need to give more pressure. So we're just going to leave it on regular pressure here and go ahead and cut that out. But again, make sure to put it on your material here. We're going to browse all materials. We're going to search printable and you should be able to see printable vinyl right here. So now we're just going to load this into our mat and press that flashing cricket button. You can turn fast mode on for this if you want to, but I choose not to turn fast mode on. And um, I just really enjoy it to do its own speed here. And these black lines are registration marks. So it'll go through this entire image. And right now it's sensing those registration marks. And then it'll go through there and cut out our little decal exactly how we want it. And once it's scanned, it's going to go through and cut that out. And it's actually a funny story about this decal. This exact same one made with printable vinyl I had on my car for almost three years. And then one day, me and actually Joseph were detailing my car. He was waxing it, and I was really cleaning it really well. And it had just faded a little because of the sun. I don't have um, the opportunity of parking in a garage. I just have to like park out in the sun. So it was a little bit uh, sun faded and things like that, but it was holding on so great. But I thought it was time to let go. So I took uh, some acetone and scraped it off using a razor blade. But let me tell you guys, it was hard, okay? These things are made to stick really well. I was so impressed with how long it stuck on there and how well that it lasted. And I didn't even seal it like I'm going to show you guys today. So with sealing it, I'm sure it'll last even longer. So that's already cut, so we're just going to unload it here. And what I like to do is like peel up the excess just like we're working with a sticker here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to peel up the excess, just the, I'm going to peel up the backing from the front of this if I can get there. My nails, this is like the trickiest part of this whole thing, guys. Okay, I got it. Okay, here we go. And you're just going to peel this up here. Just peel up the excess, and if it's giving you trouble like it's given me today, go ahead and just trim off this excess so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great thing that Tanner loves to do when he's weeding. And just keep going really slowly here. Try and get these to stick down. And I do recommend, guys, using um, anti-taze tra uh, paper transfer tape uh, for projects like this. It works so, so well with um, a little bit more delicate projects like this uh, printable vinyl here, and it works so well. So we definitely love to use those whenever you go to transfer these to your car. The regular vinyl ones, um, if you use a, like a file that we use today, you actually will not need any transfer tape at all. But um, if you find yourself needing some for you know another type of project, Definitely use uh, Anti-Taze. It's a great one too. I'll try and link that in the description below, the link to her transfer tape. Like I said, it's great for delicate projects, projects that normal transfer tape is just a little bit too hard on, if that makes sense. Uh, I know sometimes transfer tape can be a little rough, you know, even not the strong grip, even just the regular grip transfer tape. So that's just a good, a good little a little hack for you if you wanted to use that. And once you have this weeded, guys, what we're going to do uh, while that is done is grab us some of our vinyl here and we're just going to take it and place it right down on our mat. Get it as even as possible as you can and then go ahead and press that down. And this is a great hack to make sure you're saving all the vinyl you possibly can uh, is not to cut off any of the excess. So go ahead and leave that on there leave all this extra dangling on the bottom there and that will help you save some of that um, excess there. Now we're going to go ahead and cut out the bear. It is vinyl so it does not need to be um, mirrored at all because it is not um, iron-on. And what we're going to do is we're going to switch 
our material to vinyl and give that a little bit more pressure. So we'll go ahead to more. And now all we're going to do is press that flashing cricket button. And while that is cutting, I do want to go ahead and show you guys a little quick tip that what we're going to do to um, seal this guy. We're going to take our polyurethane here and we're going to shake it up. And this is something you definitely want to do in a well ventilated area and it's going to be very light. So you're very, very lightly going to go on this here and spray it. And that right there is really going to seal in all of the ink that you use from the printer and all the wonderful colors and help that really uh, stay throughout the time, okay? So you can spray it again, you know, you can spray it as many times as you want to. After this layer dries, you can spray it again and again. The colors are, will not bleed, will not fade or anything like that. And it's a great way to make this thing last a long time. So go ahead and lay that over here to dry whenever you're done with that. Then we're going to unload our other mat, our little mama bear here. And I can tell where it cut, so I'm going to get my Cricut True Control knife. And I'm just going to slice it here and slice it here. And now you're going to take up the excess here and be sure to keep this. Look how much excess we just saved. We use the bare minimum here. <laughs> Mama bear bare minimum. That's a terrible pun, guys. Wow. That was a bad corny joke. My bad. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and weed this, and we need our little scraper tool here. So we're going to go ahead and burnish this down before we even weed. This is another hack that I love to do. It really helps out to um, make sure that nothing's going to come up on us that we don't want to. And we're just going to weed this like, uh, like normal. Not, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just going to weed it out. And now we're going to go in the inside and get those interior letters in here. And now that we have this all nice and weeded, we're going to get some transfer paper here and cut it to size. And then we're going to cover it with transfer paper and then get to transfer this over to the car. Now, uh, with the uh, get off my tailwind, uh, since we did seal that with um, the polyurethane, it would be easier um, if we were able to go ahead and transfer that without using transfer tape. But like I said, if you want to use a transfer tape, I highly recommend Auntie Tay's paper transfer tape. It's basically like a really big roll of um, masking tape, guys, and that's exactly what you need for super delicate um, projects like that, little delicate things that you just want to transfer over to the car. So once you have that on there, you can barely see it. I know it's white on white on white, but it is there. And once you have this ready to go, again, just like normal, you guys know the drill. You can peel this back and place this on your car. So guys, now is the point where you'd want to go outside and get a paper towel and some rubbing alcohol. The higher percentage, the better and go out there and really clean your car good. Now, if it's very dirty, go ahead and wipe it with some water first with a rag and get all the dust and the debris off of it and then take your alcohol and really get in there and really polish it up and make sure that it is nice and ready to be stuck to. And then guys, just like I mentioned earlier, you can just go and take this off just like you normally would and place this on your car. Now make sure that it is straight. I definitely recommend having another person with you and being able to, you know, kind of go down, hold it up and let the person a few feet behind you, about five or 10 feet say, yeah, that needs to go up a little to the left, a little lower, a little right side needs to go down a little, you know, help them get picky with it. Tell them to make it perfect because honestly, guys, I have to tell you, and this should be no shock to you guys. One of my biggest pet peeves is when I am behind somebody and I can see their stickers on their car are like so off. Oh my gosh, I would not be able to stand it. So it's really important that you get those positionings correct so that you don't have any trouble with it at all. And as for this guy, again, if you want to, if you're brave enough, go ahead and do the same thing. Clean off the part of your car that you want to uh, clean with that and place these onto your car. These will um, individually and these will stay in the heat through the sun and last a long, long time. If mine lasted about three years 
without being sealed. I can't imagine how long it would last if I actually had sealed it. So definitely take advantage of these ways of making car decals. You can make car decals with any uh, SVG file that we have. We have over a thousand digital cut files and you guys need to take advantage of all of those. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video, guys. I